So in this tip, I'm going to show you how co-authoring works in SharePoint team site. So the first thing we need to do is to navigate to a SharePoint team site. So let's uh, select the SharePoint icon and then wait for the SharePoint homepage to come up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into this uh, demo team site. Now, once I'm inside this demo team site, so what I'm going to do is simply go to the documents area and I'm going to select a document. And for example, I'm going to start editing that document. So what I'm going to do is obviously click on it to open it in the browser. You'll see now uh, that it basically has opened in edit mode. And once it is rendered, I can go in here and I can start you know, updating this document. But immediately that I do, you can see that I've got an indication in the top right that someone else is already editing that document. So if I go to the very top right here, you'll see I've got who is editing that document. Now, what I'll see is their icon there. So I will see um, basically where they are in the document. So as they move through the document uh, and make changes to the document, um, I'll be able to see those changes um, as they happen. And again, on the other screen of the user, they will see uh, my cursor moving through. Now, you can have potentially as many different editors as you want of a document and the document will be saved uh, virtually immediately. Now, what we can do is we can also go in here and we can uh, chat with anybody else who is also uh, working on this document. So we can do that uh, in our web browser if we want potentially, and we can also uh, do that using our Skype for Business. Now, not only can we co-author in the browser, but if I select the option up here and then jump in and open in Word 2016, so this will open that same document, download it from SharePoint, put it into uh, edit mode, and what we'll find is we get a very similar sort of co-authoring experience here. So we'll be able to see that other people in the document, we'll be able to see what they're working on, what they're uh, updating, and we can also communicate with them. So I'm in my document here, and you'll see that I've got an indication in the top right here that Lewis is uh, already editing that document. So again, if I go in here and start tidying up that document as that other user, you'll see that that cursor moves uh, along, indicating that I'm editing. And if I mouse over, it, I'll see that Lewis is the one that is in fact making those edits and I get an indication up here that he is editing and again I can go in and chat or open the contact card. So what happens here is that uh, by default co-authoring is enabled for all users and all documents, uh, all Office documents. So again that means multiple people can now edit documents together um, at the same time.